explaining the project once more because I keep seeing people who are confused. We are we have two projects that are both called Neurocar. They are both called Neurocar. They are two different projects. The first one, Power Wheels. It is a children's ride on car. First, we will be modding one of those so that it can hold bow and possibly also me. That will depend on some things about the construction that I'll have to see when I get there. This is a sort of a rush fast project that's happening before open source so that we can do this at open source. We are not bringing a real car to open source. They would not let us drive that inside. That's um, not would not be allowed. What is allowed is a kid's ride on car. What we're doing up here is a mock up for the electronics that we're going to have. Whoa, thank you. <laughs> so, Neurocart being the open source project where we, we are going to be modding a Power Wheels. So here's how that project is going to work. We're going to practice modding all of the electronics here. It should be very straightforward. Then when we get down there, I'm going to have three days to build the thing before open source. Then we're going to take it to open source. We're going to ride around. It's going to be super cute and fun. And then we're going to be building it, the, the actual Neurocar. Um, which is going to be a real car. Now, there are a few things about that. One, this is going to have to be crowdfunded. I can't actually afford to buy a car to drive into a tree. Two, it is probably not going to be a very fancy or nice car for a few reasons. Ask Vettel. No. Okay, so here's what you guys don't understand, I think. I'm not Vettel's employee, and I don't want to be Vettel's employee. I'm Vettel's friend. Listen, if it were something I couldn't afford to do, sure, I'd let him pay. But I was doing stream projects, stream electronics projects, before I met him, and I'm going to be doing them after he's done with me. I'm joking. So so the deal is, like, it just feels weird, right? Like, if I, if I were going to spend more than I would on a regular stream project, yeah, like, I would, I would let him chip in. And especially if he were working on the project more, right? But he pays for his side and I pay for my side, right? I don't know, man. We're just like pals working on a project. And I've worked on a lot of projects with a lot of friends and I've never had them pay for the whole thing. There are going to be a few things that I have to do to actually do the real car project, right? Older car is going to be better both because it's going to be cheaper and because it's easier to hack into their control systems. <laughs> so the car will probably be older and not too fancy when we do the actual car. I, I don't know if I'm going to need to put it on a lift. I, I don't know if that's going to be necessary, but I will need plenty of private land for us to drive it around on and plenty of time off to actually get this thing working. How about a golf cart? If I'm being 100% with you guys, I want a real car. I think that'd be so cool. I want to see her. I want to see her do the trolley problem in real life. But until then, Neuro Kart is a fun little project. I am also excited for this. This is also fairly ambitious considering the time restraints. And that's what we're going to be working on today. Most of these uh, drive on cars, and the one that I picked out for this project, come with a parental remote. Now, we're gonna have to do some work to make the parental remote capable of more than it is currently capable of. Can Neuro actually drive a cart? She's going to. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing today. Who's gonna be the first victim of the Neuro car? That's a complicated question. Okay, okay, let me, let me lay it out for you. One, Bao is gonna be in the car. So, she is most likely to suffer damages, right? In that sense. Me, though, I'm going to be working on the car in physical space before anyone even gets into it, right? So there's a good chance that she'll drive into my shins, you know, just before before anybody. But if I had to actually say who stands to lose the most on this, I think it's Vettel because he's going to be so humiliated watching this all happen. Like, I just think that, like, watching this thing drive into people, like, Bao and I, we don't have shame. And not enough of it anyway. So we're not going to be like that embarrassed as this is happening in real time. But I think Vettel is going to be really embarrassed. Uh, I think he's going to be really, really embarrassed. So I'm my money is actually on on Vettel losing the most. So the remote doesn't control all of the functions of the car itself, but it controls most of them. So we're going to use it as a shortcut to overriding most of the control schemes for the car. Now to do this, we're going to be literally just removing the top part of this. Exposing the board underneath and soldering optocouplers on so that we can control optocouplers. Uh, how do they work? Um, basically, they automate a button press. But yeah, basically, this allows us to simulate these button presses. So we're going to be taking this off and soldering these on so that we can simulate these button presses. Oh, evil controlled drone? Yeah, that's, I mean, we're literally going to be building that after after this. Probably also after VTuber headgear, because I want to get that done. And before the actual car. We're going to we're gonna get an evil, a, a drone that shoots ice cream. I'm still working on the design there, but I, I want and you to know I have successfully launched several dibs TV. across my home. Uh, and I, I think we're getting there. VTuber headgear will be so cool. I know. Yeah, she said she wanted to be able to shoot ice cream. So that's what we're going to build. I'm excited. 
Yeah, I want to get nominated for tech VTuber, but I also want Vettel to win. So that's like hard because it means that it's kind of impossible. Because I just I just want to get nominated, man. But like also then at that point, you know, Swarm can only vote. So it's it's unlikely that I'm gonna. And don't look down. <laughs> so this is this is the car that we're gonna be modding. Doesn't it look incredible already? I'm really excited. Yeah, it's pretty small. I think it's probably smaller than you're picturing. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be doing a lot to make it to make it nice. Yeah, the Nerazzerati. So what I want to do, possibly, we're gonna see how how we feel about it and how it looks. Is color the whole thing to be the color of her sweater, right? And then run racing stripes in her colors over the top and on the back. Then put her bows on the sides of this mirror here and remove the steering wheel so that we don't get as much of the illusion broken. This is what it's gonna look like. Any LEDs? Well, I mean, the lights work. They're real lights. So hopefully it will be comfortable inside for everyone inside. <laughs> it won't be. It'll be very cramped. If Bao and I do manage to get in this and, and I, I look at the chassis and I feel like it can handle both of us, um, because I will be I will be modding it so that the motors can handle both of us and the battery should be able to handle both of us. <laughs> when do we install the underglow and the hydraulics? If I had more than three days, I would love to do that. But I only have three days to work on the actual car itself. So we have to keep the um, the mods to, to, a, to a minimum. But yeah, should be good. Jesus Christ, every time I talk about this, people are like, have you considered that Bao has a huge butt? Have you considered Bao's uh, curvaceous butt? Have you, have you considered the, have you considered Yacht? Every time I'm like, hey guys, hey guys, look at this cute project I'm doing. What do you think of this, of this sweet, cute project I'm doing? And they're just like, but Ellie, have you considered that Yacht? What? Yeah, that's that's what that's what Twitch will teach you is that if you just have to mention um a, a bodacious behind, and you get fifty gifted immediately. Wow, wow, guys, I'm giving you I'm giving you all the sweet hacks here. I'm I'm teaching you how to be a real streamer. <laughs> Who's gonna be taking Neurocar after open sauce? Probably Toma. Um, so that she can do future streams with it. Sharp weenus. Yeah. We could do, we could talk through like what actually goes into the car. Okay, so this is the car, right? It's 12 volt. We need it to be 24 volt because I'm putting in 24 volt motors because they'll be more powerful and I want a 24 volt battery, you know, for the same reason, basically. So what we're doing is we're gonna replace the battery with a 24 volt battery. We're gonna replace the motors with 24 volt motors. We're gonna have to step everything else down from 24 to 12 volts. All of that should be pretty straightforward. We're gonna do this project that we did here, but there, and we're not gonna do it to trash. The battery's not gonna last very long. Ride-on cars don't have very long lasting batteries. I'm guessing that we'll get about two hours out of it, but we might get less, we might get more, but somewhere around two hours. You know, we're not gonna be wanting to be like, going around open sauce presenting all day so if we if we get two hours a day of footage and content that's really good for me so in terms of control we literally just have to override the parental controls uh so that we can control them from the computer we have to write the api which can be done here with this and tested with this and then when we get there we'll need to do that and then any any work we want to do on the color on the stripes on the bows to make it really feel like it's her and then we're good so like I said, it's a pretty straightforward project. Probably the most straightforward one we've done, and that is for a very good reason, which is it needs to it needs to be able to be done in three days. The other thing is I need to figure out how we're getting camera footage because Neuro needs to be able to see, right? And this thing is smaller than you expect. So if we're looking at the front of this thing, it's way too low. So a dash cam doesn't really work because it's gonna be too low. It needs to be higher up. So I think what we're gonna need to do is put like a, a something coming up from from the back of it to hold a phone. Yeah. So that's that's how Neuro will see. And those are all of that's really all we need to do. It's uh it's actually a pretty straightforward project. It's gonna be a stressful three days for sure. <laughs> Bye guys! It was really fun hanging out. <laughs> I didn't expect this project to be so fast. This is such a silly project, and I'm so glad I get to do it with you guys. Okay, okay. We're rating, we're rating, we're rating. 